So, Heavenly Father, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, any day I'm given your guidance is a blessing, and any day I can share my light and love, I thank thee. Anything that is not of the light or the divine plan is no longer welcome here and must leave immediately. The collective and I thank thee for any and all wisdom bestowed upon us this day. Amen. Okay, you guys already know the vibe that we're catching. We are divine. We are humble. We are cosmic. We are intuitive. We stand in our truth and we grow daily. And every day we create a better life. Every day we create legacy wealth. The devil comes to play. And we what? We only with the light. One more time. We only with the light. Okay? Okay. I love you guys so, so much. I'm taking a break right now from private readings and like working overtime. And I just, this message keeps coming to me over and over and over again. So I sat with my husband, I took some notes. I talked to him about like some of the things that I wanted to talk about because we have both dealt with narcissistic family members, narcissistic exes. And um, he also agreed that this would be a really good topic for me to talk about with the collective so i'm i'm glad that i'm doing it because there's somebody that's going to need to hear this message okay so this person doesn't have a lot of gratitude for their own talents and gifts and abilities okay they try to make everything a competition they don't understand that they don't understand love without conditions okay this is how they want to keep us strained, hurting, sad, um, and tethered to them, okay? They only understand the quantity of material-based connections and everything is their way or no way, okay? All while gaslighting and love bombing and using a cycle, a whole ass circle of manipulative tactics, okay? This person is trying to come through as the king of cups this person comes through as the king of cups okay they came to you playing on your emotions playing on your past i would never do that to you i will never be that person in your life i will always take care of you i will always be lo loyal to you i'm not like the rest i'm not an f boy i'm not an f girl you want to know what came out right after that the two knights together knight of swords and the knight of cups so this is trickery going to war this is anger ghosting and duplicity being two different people okay the person that you're in love with and the other person okay this person doesn't want you to have a new beginning this person doesn't want you to leave them. They don't want you to go zero contact. They don't want you to find your inner voice. They don't want you to find strength. They want to keep you in this vibration of mind games, third party situations, sleepless nights, not eating. And they're the type of person that's like, you know, while they're like killing you slowly, you should eat. Maybe you should sleep. Like everything is your fault. All of this stuff is coming to pass because of you. Not them, you. While causing you pain over and over and over again. Somebody that is loving isn't just not going to care about your feelings. They're just not just gonna one day just stop fighting for the relationship and out of the clear blue sky and just disappear, okay? They're not just gonna cut and run like that, okay? Trickery. This person is angry when they they throw things, they say things that they shouldn't. They're impulsive sometimes when they talk to you. Very heated, like fiery ways that they play mind games, the ways that ways that they communicate with you when you guys are not on a on a good um when you guys are not on a good note, okay? This is you, okay? Starting to find your way, seeing that karma and justice is going to start balancing the scales, balancing out this ish. 
looking at the other side of the other side of the fence like oh my gosh like life could be a little bit better i could manifest this into my life i could heal i could take my time i can hear and have clarity when this person is not around me okay this person again cares a lot about material based connections everything is surface level all while not truly giving like they said they were going to okay all while not truly giving like they said they were going to the whole time and dangling everything um, above you like a carrot so let's go over some of the notes that I wrote which are the five stages okay so stage one is when they pick you out okay when this person picks you out and targets you okay playing on your emotions and then you know having gaining power and control by things that are important to you okay finding somebody to manipulate that is easy to control okay the hunt um and sometimes they do look for empaths and a lot of empaths are drawn to narcissists like narcissists are drawn to empaths okay Stage two, idealization, okay? Oh, I like your spirituality. I love that you're so, um, you're so kind and generous and giving and, and loving and hardworking and that you have all this inner strength. Then they start the love bombing while they try to transform you into something that you are not bit by bit. Very slowly siphoning you your energy and moving you into a different direction of what they would like you to be. Stage three, paying our dues. Okay. Needing to have intense loyalty to this person. They want you to work for them, not with them, for them. They want power, control, and adoration, okay? This person wants power, control, and adoration. Stage four, devaluation, the worst part, okay? The fighting, them wanting you to compete for their affection, them being greedy, them keeping you all to themselves, um, them taking you away from loved ones, taking you away from family. This is when they will openly flirt with others, okay? Texting other people, talking to other people in front of you, maybe wearing a gift from their ex in front of you, um, talking to their ex in front of you, or um, trying to make pin all the siblings against each other playing mind games, um, openly ignoring, openly flirting, cold shoulder, emotional roller coaster, putting us down, okay, putting us down, gaslighting us, and then telling us that it's all in our head, we're crazy, and that it's all our fault. And then back to the better part of the relationship status, okay? Stage five, shelving. Okay, this is their surface level side coming out. Okay, their material based connections coming out, their control, the my way or the highway, because they have put us on a shelf, they have put us on ice, they have put us on pause, hangman position to be exact. The narc stops looking at us as their primary focus as they ice us out, either for temporary or permanent, for leveling up or a better agenda, they suddenly discard you. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to stop thinking about them. Keeping you as plan B, the mind games, and weaponizing everything against you, okay? Using everything as a weapon against you. So let's see what else comes out but this is you guys learning how to set boundaries 
learning how to be loyal to the divine spirit, whoever it is that you pray to, learning how to love yourself, heal yourself, mother yourself, learning how to bring in multiple streams of income, residual income, um, different talents and things that make you happy, okay? So we're being told that the more gratitude that we have, the more that we ask for help as we're praying, as we're manifesting or using law of attraction, the more that we are trying to let go of this narcissist in our life, the narcissist that wants to keep us, we got waiting in reverse, the more miracles and abundance that's going to flow into our life. Okay, so let's see what else comes out. We got the full and the moon, okay? And we got the Knight of Wands. Didn't we just get the Knight of Wands? No, we got the Knight of Swords. We got the Knight of Cups. I know what's in here. Now we're getting all the Knights. Holy cow. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this could be relationship-ish. So this person wanted to target you because they thought it would be easy. They thought either that we didn't have a loved one that was going to come looking for us or care. They thought we would be an easy target. They thought that we would be naive. They thought that it would be easy to shape and mold us. But again, all of this night energy, they were using trickery being two different people, holding a lot of secrets. This person is not sharing who they are. They are not sharing with you who they truly are, which is already a problem in itself because you need to feel vulnerable with somebody that you're trying to build a relationship with to truly grow with them, okay? So spirit, the divine is going to be illuminating this person that has bit you, that has caused you all of this pain and turmoil and sadness and anxiety. So this person could be a cancer. They could be a Scorpio. Okay. Let's see what else comes out. Oops. I feel like this this is probably going to be titled about love because this is all about you trying over and over and over again and then looking at you like no i ghosted you i left you why are you even talking to me okay take what resonates oh while they're keeping secrets still and while they're not they're still not telling the truth You trying to resolve actual issues, the task at hand, and then just, nope, nope, I'm good. Then wanting you to have this unwavering loyalty to them, it's just not fair. Clarify this four of cups. So I'm seeing as I'm shuffling the hangman and different pentacle cards that are talking about having this unwavering loyalty to them. Okay.
this person doesn't want you to have your ten of cups okay this person does not want that for you this person wants to keep you as the fool they don't want you to move on okay clarify this knight of wands you guys are the sun okay you guys have good news coming in you guys have different things that are being illuminated for you from by your spirit guides so you guys could be getting a message coming in or you guys could be starting to listen to your listening to yourself as you go through this death and this rebirth okay This whole situation is going to make you guys that much more spiritual and that much more grateful and the things that that you want in your life. Ten of Pentacles again. They cannot stop this from coming in because justice is going to be served no matter what. No matter what. On top of that, you are going to bring in all of this good news, all of these miracles, no matter what, your multiple streams of income in, no matter what, okay? Because this is going to be what they're going to be in. When you go zero contact with them, they're going to have their own things that they're going to have to deal with, sun at the bottom of the deck. Because you guys are moving into a state of actual happiness. Being happy for yourself. Um... Being happy for yourself, being happy by yourself, knowing that you can do bad all by yourself, okay? We got confidence. Be bold, rise up, and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. Oh my gosh, I love that. We also got gratitude again. So gratitude is very, very important in this reading. Be grateful for abundance. Live in appreciation for what you have and more good things will come. And this person thought that they could block your Ten of Pentacles. Okay, first off, they thought they could block all of your hard work. They thought they could come in and swipe it. They thought they could take the credit as their own. They thought that they could get you to feel all of these different types of emotions for them when it's a lot is being illuminated their secrets their deceptive behavior um, maybe you guys were considering getting back together with them and i feel like this person talks about you guys a lot this person wants you guys back in your in their life this person sees your bright future and they're not happy about it. They're hating. They're a lover hating. Okay. You guys, again, we got the Ace of Cups twice. You guys, again, are going to get this new abundance, this new love, these new things coming into your life. Because you have conquered creating healthy boundaries, saying no, no means no. Being the Queen of Cups. Okay. And here they are. Here's the narcissist, all sad. Boo hoo. All the cups are knocked over. I will go grab Cindy and Lucy and whoever else from the block. Okay. I'm sure they can help you. Okay, King of Cups. So I'm seeing a new relationship forming in this new beginning. So in that case, we need to what? Make room. Remove and start weeding out the people that are like this in your life. So we can have this union. So we can have this Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Any other message? Last card out. High Priestess, you guys are cosmic, you guys are humble, you guys are intuitive, okay? This 
is where they're heading. This is you guys, your confidence, remembering who you are. None of my viewers bump their head. You guys are remember, remembering who you are. No more waiting, no more being put on pause, no more, be put, no more being put on ice, no more being put on a shelf that's done and over with, okay? Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. I love you. I love you guys so, so much. I hope that you guys enjoy this collective reading um, for anybody that needs to hear it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Namaste.